Now, as a, as a, a man of uh, 56 years old, uh, 57 <laughs> on August the 30th, I ask you this only for medical reasons, but do you get loads of uh, people taking their clothes off when you play? I, mean, I couldn't help noticing on the monitors, there seemed to be one um, or two people disrobing. Yeah, that was the first time I've really come across that, but yeah, it was quite funny. Because one of them looked like my girlfriend, and I sort of went, oh, what's going on here a second, and then... Yeah. Jolly pleased to discover that it wasn't. Yeah, totally. <laughs> So is this, is this uh, I know obviously you've had an extraordinary uh, year, but has this, been, has this been the biggest gig that you've done? Or? Yeah, definitely, yeah. What did you think of it? I don't know, it was really, um, you know, we built up to a very big thing in our heads, you know, for the last three months. Uh, you know, it's almost all I've been thinking about, really. And so I think we, when we went on, we were just a bit too charged up and, you know, over eager. You know, mm. we didn't quite have the cool, because we never really get nervous before shows, but tonight it was... You know. But it didn't show, though. I mean, did you? Or, I did you or did you feel that it did? Maybe. Well, I think it did. You know, the first few songs was a bit, you know, a bit too edgy, really. But it was, I don't know. I think we got into it at the end, and the fireworks were really amazing. The fireworks were kind of extraordinary. Yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't see them from here. But yeah, uh, you could feel them. <laughs> I certainly could feel them. There's no question about that. So where do you go from here then? What's, uh... Well, unbelievably, we've got three weeks off, and I wouldn't know what to do with myself really. And then we're going to Thailand. Really? Yeah, yeah where we're apparently like. Massive. We're playing. How, does, how do you sort of cope? How do you like? It's one of those things. Obviously, you know, never having been massive in Thailand myself, yeah. I can't really imagine what it's like. I mean, how do you cope with? Stuff I really like don't that? know. It's, that's a, the most bizarre thing is we've never even been there. But how do you cope with being massive anywhere? I mean, because you, you must have seen. Uh, you know, I mean, you must know enough about it what goes on to have seen lots of people who've really been just driven mad by success. Um. How, do you, how are you going to cope with that? I don't know, it's just a thing that you just have to throw yourself in at the deep end and then, you know, you'll learn to deal with it. I mean, do you still feel, as it were, like yourself? Or do you feel like a star? Oh, yeah. um, oh, I don't know, I don't really feel like a star much. You know, just so but, I mean, when you go home, do, do, you get, do people treat you differently? Not really. Well, maybe the first few, you know, first time they see you, but if you, you, know, if you don't act any, any different, you know... I turn up in the stretch limo and yeah, that's, lots that's, of karate <laughs> people jumping out to make sure that nobody speaks to you. Yeah, no, that would be cool, but yeah, it's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, listen, thanks very much for uh, coming in. Yeah, and uh, let's go back to the stage now, as it were, uh, a bit of time uh, leaping from time zone to time zone. Yeah. And uh, actually hear what you were playing earlier on this afternoon. Our messy Cheers, shambolic much, set. Hey? <laughs> Our shambolic set. Is everybody happy? This song's called Goldfinger. Yeah. 